hello guys welcome back to my channel so the last update about twist of fate ria and alia are in trouble because of ria because ria fake pregnancy got exposed and it will be delivered to the coolest mansion so ria was trying to make sure that nobody sees the fake pregnancy report but shahana got to know that something is fishy so shahana was waiting for the report to come even though shahana did not know that it is ria's fake pregnancy report let's continue Rambro and Prachi are dancing on a song during Prachi and Sidat Enna ceremony. Rhea get angry with how Rambro is happily dancing with Prachi. Prachi get emotional. Rambro signals to her asking that what happened. Prachi knows her head that there's nothing. Rambro old Prachi as they dance. Suddenly, Prachi sleeps and she is about to fall on the pointed edge of the couch. But Rambro keeps his hand on the edge of the couch to save Prachi from getting injured. Prachi gets saved from getting head injury. Everyone gets shocked. Grandma asks Prachi if she is fine. Prachi looks at Rambro. Rambro gets emotional and he asks Prachi. Prachi smiles and gets emotional too. Vikram, Grandma and Wendy smiles. Rhea gets more upset. Palavi says it is good that nothing has happened and says she wants to talk to everyone and she wants to invite all the guests. Palavi tells everyone that this party is not yet over and it will go on till Diwali. Prachi claps surprising Rambro. Other people clap. Rambro gets upset and he goes. Shahana thinks that how did the papers in the envelope that came from the hospital got missing from the envelope. She checks and thinks that the door is closed. Then how did the papers go missing? She keeps the envelope in the magazine. Ria is standing outside the room. Shahana opens the door and she sees Ria. Ria asks, what were you doing in my room? Shahana says, I came here by mistake. Ria asks if Shahana was spying on her on Prachi's sayings. Shahana asks Ria not to mention Prachi's name and she asks if she is jealous of Prachi and Rambo's dance. Ria pushes Shahana out of the room and closes the door. She says, I don't know when my good days would come. Alia comes to the room from the bathroom and she asks Ria to stop cursing herself. Ria says Rambo will not let Prachi marry Sidat. Alia shows Ria the fake pregnancy report and says she follows Shahana and she had opened the envelope also. Alia tells Ria that when Shahana went to close the door, I took out the report from the envelope and I saved you once again. Ria says this marriage will not happen. Prachi comes to the room. Rambo says you were about to get out. Prachi says you were making me dance forcefully and that was why I fell. Rambro says to Prachi that you were dancing with me and he asks why she was running. Prachi says she knows that Rambro is acting to protect her and says that now he has someone in her life officially to take care of her. Rambro says Siddharth has no right to take care of you and nobody can take care of you better than me. Prachi asks Rambro that who are you to take care of me? Rambo says, because I love you. Damn it. Rhea witnesses his love confession and she gets sad. Aliyah comes there and hears them too. Rambo asks Prachi not to say that someone else will take care of her because as long as he is alive, he would only take care of Prachi. And as long as he is taking care of Prachi, nothing would happen to her. Rhea and Aliyah leaves. Rambo tells Prachi that though he asks her to marry Sedat and he leaves from home, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't love her. He says, even if we are away, then also I will not stop loving you. If you are feeling bad of my words, then I don't care. Prachi gets emotional and she smiles. Rambro is about to go, but he comes back to Prachi. He is about to touch Prachi and he leaves from there. Prachi turns and looks at Rambro leaving. Rhea comes to the room and breaks the things in the room. Alia asks Rhea to listen to her. Ria says, I don't want to listen, and says, if you want to hear your appraisal, then bravo, well done. Ria tells Aliyah that you can save my fake pregnancy report, but you cannot save my life. She says, when Rambro is not with me, then what will I do with that report? Ria says, it doesn't matter if it goes in anyone's hand, and says that she is alone, and she is getting inferiority complex, and she finds herself worthless. Ria tells Alia that when I saw my Rambro with Prachi, then I think that I should die and I should not stay in this world. Ria says, I know I am beautiful, I am smart and I am perfect, and says people used to call us best couple in the college, but since Prachi came, everything is gone. 
Ria tells Aliyah that she doesn't have any peace or happiness. Aliyah says you are very good and she asks Ria to take control of her life. Ria says Rambu doesn't care for me and says sometimes Rambu talks to me or cares for me on mom or Pallavi sayings. Alia asks Ria not to forget that she is Ria Abishek Mera and she is the daughter of Abishek Mera. Alia says you are a born winner like me and your father and you will get what you want. Ria tells Alia that I just want Rambro and he doesn't look at me. Alia says okay, we will get Prachi moved away from Rambro's sight. She says time has come when Prachi has to go away from not just this house but from this world. Alia says tomorrow is Diwali. I will tell you, Ria thinks that what is aunt going to do with Prachi? Shahana comes to Prachi and tells her that the envelope was empty. Prachi says maybe you did not see it properly and says maybe the report is with someone else. Aliyah goes to the tailor. The tailor says the work will be done. He says whoever wears that dupatta and go near the fire, then the person will not be saved. Aliyah says that she want the person to wear the coffin after wearing this dupatta. The tailor says he will keep the gunpowder in such a state in that dupatta that whoever wears it and goes near the fire, then the person will burn and die. Aliyah thinks that Prachi will not be saved. Prachi searches for Ria's pregnancy report. Priya shows Prachi the tissue paper. Shahana says they want the paper in which the hospital is written. Prachi says or else Ria's name is written. Ria hears them and recalls Aliyah's words. Vikram tells Pallavi that he wants to tell her something and says that they are hurrying up and doing a big mistake. Pallavi says, I know what you want to say. Vikram asks Pallavi to hear him fully and says, we know how much Rambu loves Prachi. Vikram tells Pallavi that Rambu was scared thinking that Prachi might get hurt and he hugged her without caring about anyone standing there. Pallavi says, so what? Rambu is sensitive. She says two rituals and functions have happened and she asks if Vikram is joking. Vikram tells Pallavi that if the functions have happened, then the marriage should happen. She says she has no pressure. Vikram says you are pressurizing others. Pallavi asks Vikram to switch off the light and let her sleep. Alia comes to Ria's room and finds her crying. She asks what happened. Ria asks Alia to take her away from the city and says I am fighting for my right, for my Rambro, but I am not getting anything. Ria says even after doing planning and plotting, I am not getting successful. Ria cries and tells Aliyah that she is not getting anything even after planning and plotting and she asks Aliyah that until when will she fight? Aliyah asks Ria to tell her what has happened now. Ria says what happens has always happened. Aliyah says how many times will I tell you that you are the Mera's daughter and you should not cry? Ria cries more. Aliyah tells Ria that she would go and talk to Prachi and she is about to go. Ria comes behind Aliyah and says, I have only you in this world and nobody else. Aliyah asks Ria to tell her what happened. Ria says, Prachi and Shahana were searching for my pregnancy report. Aliyah says, I had told you that Prachi and Shahana were searching for your fake pregnancy report. Ria says, when you told me, then I was crying seeing Rambu and Prachi's closeness and that they are coming closer. And I fear that Prachi will keep me away from the family and she will rip me away. Aliyah tells Ria that I have set everything and I have made a plan to kill Prachi. Ria says, I think you should not kill Prachi. Aliyah asks, who is saying this? A sister. Ria says, I don't want you or me to get trapped. Aliyah says, Prachi's death will look like an accident. Aliyah tells Ria that tomorrow is a big day. It is Diwali's dark night. When Prachi will light the lamp, then she will be burnt by herself because the dress that Prachi would wear would have the explosive that Prachi shouldn't go near the fire. Ria smiles. The next day, the tailor comes to Aliyah and gives two dupatas with one and two written on the sheet. He says number one is made specially for you and number two is the duplicate. Aliyah asks if it will work. The tailor says 100% and he asks her to tell him if she has any other work in the future and the tailor goes. Aliyah says, Prachi, your Diwali gift is ready which would help you in the fire blast. She turns and sees Priya standing. She asks, what is Priya doing here? Priya says she is cleaning the house for Diwali. She asks if she should keep the dress in the room but Aliyah says no. 
Alia turns and sees Palavi standing. Alia lies to Palavi that she got a dress for Ria from the temple and then she thought about Prachi and she feel bad and that is why she got the second dress for Prachi. Alia asks Palavi to give both Prachi and Ria the dress being their mother-in-law. She asks her to give number one to Prachi and the number two departed to Ria. Palavi asks Alia why numbers are written on the dress. Alia says they believe in different gods, so she got their dupata blessed by their gods. Palavi thanks Alia for thinking about Prachi and Ria, so Palavi asks Priya to call Prachi and Ria for her. Prachi and Ria comes to Palavi. Palavi says the puja was kept for both of you and the dupata was brought from there, as you believe in different gods, so the dupatas are blessed with different gods. She checks the number and gives Dupata to Prachi for the baby's safety and for her good health. Prachi takes Palavi's blessings. Palavi then gives the Dupata to Ria and says it is for your baby's safety. Ria thanks Palavi and says she doesn't even miss her mother due to Palavi. Palavi calls Aliyah near her and she thanks her. Aliyah says our happiness lies in their happiness. Palavi says happy Diwali and she goes. Prachi also goes. Aliyah tells Ria that our happiness is in Prachi's death and she tells Ria that their planned second part is completed. The Dupata reach Prachi which has our blessings and says Prachi will reach heaven just as she goes near the fire. Ria says I am waiting for evening. This Diwali Prachi will be burnt and her Dupata will become a death. Prachi gets ready and she talks to her baby. She says your grandma loves you a lot and she asks her baby not to feel bad of her scoldings. She says she is your father's mommy, so she will love you a lot and she will care for us a lot. And that is why she brought this Dupata from the temple for your long life and a lot of happiness. Prachi tells her unborn baby that she is wearing the Dupata that Palavi gave her and says that both Rambu and his mother are the same. They will do something that you will feel that nobody loves you more than them and at another time they would hurt you and you would think that they are the devil on earth. Aliyah and Ria secretly hears Prachi talking in her room. Ria says I was nice to Prachi and that is why her destiny was good. She says now she doesn't need Prachi anymore and she will blacken her life forever and it is this Diwali. She says people end the evils during Dushera and today on Diwali I would end evil of my life. Aliyah tells Ria that if he had not saved Prachi's life the day she had an accident then Prachi and her baby would not have been alive and this Diwali, Rambro and you would have celebrated. Ria says that she made a mistake that time, but this time, Prachi will reach the cemetery ground directly. Alia says it is not needed because she will be born here fully, as the blessings Dupata is actually shrouded. Palavi meet the guest and she asks them to come inside. Vikram meet a guest called Sanjay and he welcomes him. He says you came for Diwali always. Sanjay tells Vikram that this is my favorite festival. Vikram asks why is it celebrated. His daughter Niha comes there and says that Ram returned to Ayoda after 14 years. Vikram asks Niha how she is. Niha asks Vikram to ask her dad. Vikram says she is like your wife. Sanjay says that is why he did not bring his wife. Grandma comes there and greets him. Aryan comes to Niha and teases her. Niha looks at Rambro. Shahana says that Rambro is looking like Sonamunda. Prachi knows that no. Nia says that Rambro is handsome. Ria says Rambro is my husband. Nia says I will ask Rambro why did he marry. Rambro comes there and greets Nia. He asks her to come and meet Grandma. Nia says she has already met Grandma. Rambro asks Nia to come and meet Grandma with him. Nia asks Rambro that why did you marry so soon. Rambro says he was in love. Nia asks if it is permanent. Rambro says yes. Prachi asks Ria why did she introduce herself like this. Ria goes away from there. Prachi follows her. Ria asks the waiter to give her cotton wool because someone's voice is piercing her ears. Prachi says excuse me. Ria says that she wants cotton wool because her ears doesn't like someone's voice. Prachi goes behind Ria. Ria asks Prachi to step aside and let her go. Prachi asks Ria to stop calling Rambro as her husband. Ria asks Prachi to stop taking breath and she asks, can you do this? She says, if I don't call Rambro as my husband, it is like not breathing. And she asks, who is she to tell her this? Because she is going to marry Sidat 
and she is pregnant with his child. Rhea tells Prachi that I am pregnant with Rambo's child and says you will marry Sidat and live from here, so why should you care? Rhea asks Prachi not to order her and says she should not bother about what she calls Rambo. Rhea says to Prachi that let me guess, what will you call Sidat after your marriage, my love, my husband or my life partner? Prachi says I have seen people seeing dream with open eyes and you are one of them. Rhea says my dream is going to be fulfilled soon and you will be out from here after marrying Sidat. Prachi tells Rhea that I will stay in this house and nobody can throw me out. Rhea says the daughter will live from her house always. She asks Prachi to accept the reality and says today is Diwali, then your marriage and your sent forth. Rhea asks Prachi to accept her reality and says then you will cry less. Rhea tells Prachi that I will help you to accept the reality and says Rambo and I will do the outie together and you will see it. Maybe all your dreams will be broken seeing husband and wife doing outie. Prachi says God's outie is done by husband and wife and we have taken rounds witnessing the rounds and says our fate is with us. Rhea asks Prachi that it seems that you don't want to marry Sidat. Prachi says I agree to marry Sidat only for mommy's sake and my heart feels that everything will be fine and that fine will be that I will end up with Rambro. Rhea says whoever does the outie with Rambro, Rambro will be in the person's fate. Prachi thinks that let's wait and see. Okay guys, I can see that some people from the comment section are actually pointing out that I'm calling it as Rambo. It is not Rambo, but anyway, maybe my because of my twisted tongue or something, that is just the way I can pronounce it as Rambo. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all again in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you.